Well, today, two more Metro Atlanta cities officially turned the brunch bill, the Sunday brunch bill, into law. And of course, we're talking about Atlanta and Alpharetta. Yeah, and tonight, CBS 46's Rebecca Schramm showing us what this actually means for the restaurant industry and for Sunday brunch goers. Bloody Marys and mimosas aren't just for Saturday brunch anymore. Now, at restaurants like Two Urban Licks in Atlanta's Old Fourth Ward, you can order alcoholic drinks starting at 11 a.m. on Sundays. Brunches is a very social, family-driven friend. It's very different than going out at night. Bob Amick is the founder and owner of Concentrics Restaurants, which includes two urban licks and several other area hotspots. You go to New York City and some of the big cities in, in, around the country, brunch is huge, breakfast is huge. It just sort of starts the day. And so uh, it, it's, it's not so much just about us economically. It's really a reputation of the city. and for Atlanta, all the things that come to this town. The Sunday brunch bill already went into effect in several other counties and cities here in Metro Atlanta. Well, now the cities of Atlanta and Alpharetta officially allow earlier pours of alcohol on Sundays. I'm not a big drinker. Music artists Jamar Petty and Sean Lewandowski are in town from the Pittsburgh area. It's always nice to have um, options. With the Super Bowl coming around, I think that is uh, uh, definitely a wise decision. We think that that hour and a half will be much busier. Bob Amick says customers having to make brunch reservations after 1230 on Sundays should now be a thing of the past. And so will conversations like this, which he often heard from customers. It's personal, but it's also like, really? You know, we're a big city. This is Atlanta, Georgia. Why do we still have these archaic laws that really make no sense? In Atlanta, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News.